Hurst keeping <laughs> score. TJ now leads the coaching staff in airtime on this webcast today. Uh, Derek talked about it, and it's such an important thing, I think, that, that is important to coaches. The fact that, that K.J. Jarrell comes from a program that has had success. He's a winner. He's been in a winning environment. And that, that adds up, too, for, for a college coaching staff to have a player that knows what it means to win football games. Without a doubt. Uh, like you're saying, I like guys that come from winning programs, guys that hate losing because uh, that's the way I am. You know, hate losing. Uh, so they're, they're willing to work, put in the extra time, and do whatever it takes to make sure that we're winning. So this guy, guy KJ, he's obviously on a taller end. He's 6'3", about 175, 180 pounds. Uh, you know, what, what do you look forward most to, to working with him in? What do you like most about this kid? Uh, I love the fact that he's physical, mm -hmm. uh, physical football player. You can see it on his tape, uh, and he's smart. You know, whenever he's supposed to be deep, middle of the field, he's deep middle of the field, roaming uh, and making a ton of plays. Right. Uh, he's a guy that shows up on tape week in and week out. He's been consistently a great player at Saguaro for a long time, uh, and you can tell that because he got the nod to be a U.S. Army All-American. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, his, his stats speak for themselves. That's an interesting uh, component, and we've talked so much about the front seven student athletes that have been brought into the program today, and we keep using the word speed, and then we talk about the defensive backfield, and we use the word physical. And, that's, and it brings up a great point. We, what's the most important thing? Rush the passer. But then if they get the pass off, make certain that that receiver pays a price for it. Right. Exactly. Uh, I tell my guys uh, we want to show up and make sure that every guy remembers us. You know, <laughs> lay the wood. Play, like you're saying lay the wood. Uh, make sure they know, hey, quarterback, don't throw that ball across the middle again because uh, I'm not liking the results of it. So, so far, you guys are, are two for two in, in the secondary department with Ty Thomas and now K.J. Jarrell. Spring ball is getting ready to start up. Um, what are some of the things that you're, you're preaching to your DBs about, about getting ready for spring ball? Uh, like you're saying, day in and day out, uh, I want the room to be extra competitive, mm -hmm. uh, ultra competitive. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're bringing a lot of talented guys in. Uh, so every day we know we've got to bring it. Uh, and then we get better because competition breeds excellence. Uh, and then we'll go out and have better results on Saturdays. Right. You're the, you're the, a lot of people don't know that you're the DB coach, but you all, you coach the, the corners and the safety. So what's the biggest difference between coaching two positions at the same time? Uh, not much. I tell them they got to be able to communicate well with each other. That's mm -hmm. why I like them all in that same room. Uh, and, and just different techniques. Corners right. is more technical. You have to have the proper footwork each play. Mm -hmm. uh, safeties, you got to have great eyes. You know, you got to train your eyes more at safety. Uh, do not get fooled on play actions. Uh, and pitch your keys. You know, have your great keys and responsibility. And at corner, you got to be athletic. Athletic indeed. He indeed. looks like he is. <laughs> and, and as you talk about that, the skill set for a corner or a safety has changed a great deal over the last several years. And again, as, as a fan, I hear football people talk more about the difference between the two positions and how important it is to have the right skill set to either be a corner or a safety. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, I say it is. It's a different skill set, different mentality. Uh, but I try to train our guys in that same room that we're all defensive backs. We all got to be able to do everything. I don't want a safety that can't cover, just like I don't want a corner that can't tackle. Uh, I want my guys to be complete defensive backs and be able to do everything. Well, I'll tell you what, I, it's, uh, it's exciting to see the, the, the kind of talent that's coming into this program. You've been here twice. You can come back as much as you want today. <laughs> it, 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 we're fine with that because every time you come here, you're bringing news about an outstanding student athlete that's coming into your defensive secondary. So I'll tell you what, we'll look forward to seeing you later today again, maybe, maybe in a very short walk. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to be back soon. <laughs> Absolutely. T.J. Rushing, Sun Devil defensive backs coach. Now, we told you, inside access – I want you to take a look now at a video as K.J. Jarrell makes, his, uh, makes it official that he's committing to Arizona State. And that's led him to the net. And the best advice K.J. I can give you going forward is just continue to trust the process, do the things that make you special, and, uh, and uh, we're just so proud of you. And without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the man of the hour, Mr. Caleb Jarrell. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, I want to thank God because without Him, none of these opportunities would be possible for me. Um, I would like to thank my family for going through this process with me and supporting my decision. 
My coaches for pushing me every day to become a better player. My teammates for always having my back. I'll, I'll have this Sabercat brotherhood forever. I want to thank my teachers here at Sawala for their help in shaping me into the best student athlete I am capable of being. Lastly, I want to thank the community of Sawala as a whole for their never ending positivity and encouragement throughout my four years here. And without further ado, for the next four years, I'll be attending I'm so happy. Arizona State University. <laughs>